Hello folks and welcome back to No Man's Land. And here we are, we're in April now, so what we need to do today is do some herbicide work. So we have a look here, enable weeds, we need to fertilize this field over here. And these two over here, so if we remind ourselves what they are, so that's our wheat fields. So yeah, not an issue, so we'll quickly do that. Also, mine's gone down a bit, that's because we sold the old combine. So there was a new combine on the market, and I thought, let's go for it. So, here she is, it is the Reaper. The Reaper 2000 on tracks. And that is absolutely sick, especially with the green interior. The red and green, that's sort of work it does in a way, weird way. I think it's based on a night case like 250 frame and body with just some tweaks by the reaper industry so that will be handy when it comes to harvesting but yeah first of all we need to start doing the herbicide so we get it done out of the way and the plan for today is gonna be finally finishing off our production village or our little production industrial park whatever it's calling it and uh, yeah we've got some pads like these moving as well today so we'll deal with those so actually wait a minute okay that's over here we need to get ready to move some wool over as well but yeah so I've been thinking about it and I thought also at some point just upgrade our animals so we can have like bigger pens and that or just more pens so with sheep get more wool get more fabric be made Smooth over. Also, I think just noticed we're at house size as well. We did put a little bit more into the BJ this morning. But yeah, we need more size, so I'm thinking more grass fields. But yeah, we'll come and deal with that as and when. Oh, honey. Oh, yeah, that's what one of you was gonna, meant to do, was it? Sell the honey. When is it at the best price? Um, now, pretty much so. You know what? We'll sell that honey as well. And that will help us as well with getting some extra funds in because I want to aim for. Having 10 million in the account. But obviously, we're going to do several things before that even happens, so. Actually, also. Just looking at sugar. Sugar's decently priced. Chocolate, also decently priced. Planks are starting to go up, so you know what? We'll deal with the honey later on. Not too many pallets. Now that is an issue, but yeah, we'll quickly get rid of these. So, I think what we'll do it is a little quick time lapse, get all the pallets moved over. Maybe sub some sugar and then we'll start on the herbicide work.
and whilst we're weeding our way into cell point, so we've got our first load of honey here. So that is 6200 litres, so that is just from what's been spawned up. Oh god, come on. There we go. So let's see how much we get from this load. Too bad, just shy of 14 grand. I was over for a few pallets. Now we'll head over here. First of all, we've got to sell 14,000 litres of eggs. So, yeah, we'll sell those first of all, then we'll take everything out to the store. We've got 12,000 litres of planks, 5,200 litres of cake. 4,000 litres of clothes for now, 5,600 litres of sugar, and a pallet of gold on top. So yeah, we get quite a bit of money from this. A lot of it is just getting everything loaded up and sold. There we go. That should be that of the eggs. Sold and there we done. There we go. And ooh, we need fuel. We'll fill up in a minute at the farming out. And this we just do a quick splash and dash at the deer ship up here. So for things like gold in that. Where is the best place to sell at the moment? Gold. Pretty even. Farm shop it is then. Much is that in total? We've earned so 300 grand from sold product. Also, that includes the old digest, not digestate, but the electricity in that. And actually, how much digestate do we have? And what is it so far at the moment? 1100 at the Surrey Yard, so. How much of that do we have? Have a look. Oh, just wait long for material. But what we're going to plan on doing with our production chains will help with some of this with the manufacture of manure. But yeah, 31,000 litres of digesting there. Not too bad. But yeah, so let's get the rest of this loaded up. So yeah, what I want to do it is, yeah, I'll get everything else loaded up off camera. And then we'll just do some clips on send stuff, like the honey. We've got honey to do. That's going to take a few trips like these, so yeah. I'll get us all done, and I'll see you folks in a few seconds here. 
here is load number two. And this time we've haven't got much honey at the moment. We've got 9,000 litres of planks and 31,000 litres of clothes on top of 9,200 litres of honey. So this is going to be the bulk seller, I think, possibly. Certainly clothes is worth more in honey by a mile. And that is 610 grand flat. That is nice. So, currently at 2.3 mil. And uh, we'll see what we get for the third load. Which is all going to be honey. Load number three. So, this is 24,000 litres of honey. And a pallet of planks and clothes. Let's see how much we can get from this. There we go. And that is just shy of six, seven grand, so about forty seven of that is from the honey. So yeah, honey's right. Not as profitable compared to the clothes, but Hey, it's extra income, and 60 grand is the difference between being able to buy something and not be able to buy something, so now let's go for the final loot. And there we are with the final load, so 16,000 litres almost of honey, 70,000 litres of planks, some chocolate, some maple syrup, a bit of canola, and some flour oil. And let's see where we stand now. So, this is a very productive day. Easy smashing a million. There we go, that's 80, that's 90 grand. Now, just sell this one planet, not planet, a planet of maple syrup. There we go, 693 smackaroos. So now we're at almost two and a half million. And I think that's where we now start finish, fin uh, finishing this off. So. This area over here, the reason why we haven't done anything with this, we weren't sure if we're going to keep as a field or not. Obviously, we're on about extending this field across. Have a bit of an arrow field, not a full. Uh, what's it? A full plot width, but. So, yeah, productions. So, first production we're going to put in is the extension oil plant. Attempts to put donuts in as well, but so this takes soybeans, olives, corn, sunflower, and canola to get your oils. Obviously, with this, you get soybean and corn oil. So, obviously, we're not using out here as much. So, I'm thinking, you know, somewhere like that. Now, the big one. It's the farm factory by Mrs. Omatono. And this gets. This is like the one production to rule them all. Pretty much. The only reason I got the oil plant in is just have a bit of extra. way of getting oil and different types of oil. So. It goes in on the left, comes out on the right. I'm thinking somewhere like that. There we go, put that down. And uh, do we want to do donuts? Yossis donuts. Requires flour and that. That's the thing, it's flour we're going to need. 
or flour and sugar we're going to need. Okay, we can put it down for now. Why not? Sort of finish off this little industrial complex area. And to be honest, heck yeah, I'm, I'm even tempted to put another clothing factory down. But yeah, let's see where we stand over here. So for this one, the oil. So sunflower, corn, and soybeans. We can distribute soybeans now. And now, as part of the farm supply factory, we can get everything. We can get TMR, so we get TMR through free variety. So, the traditional way with mineral feet or without, or just hay and silage, so no straw. Also, you can make mineral feet if we so wish. Get silage. Oh, we can get grass, put grass and water in. That will get a uh, silage and digestate. Or we can put chaff in. We can get seeds for like our wheat, barley, and corn. We get liquefied liquef uh, fertilizer from our digestate. Also, you get your pig food. The farm factory, so you get your flowers, get your bread, get your cakes, get your sugar. Cereal, butter, cheese, fabric wool, and cotton. So you can start putting some wool in here. French fries. Bit of potatoes and yeah, so strawberries or chocolate. So I'll start enabling stuff, and I think I'm gonna skip till tomorrow and just see where we stand with everything afterwards. So there we go. Cause yeah, this is like the final production chains to rule them all. Actually, there's one more we need to put down, but we can worry about that in a sec here. So there we are with a million years of straw. We still got 700,000 left in silo. That would be for the animal food and that, because we really do need to actually just realise we're like around about 400,000 litres of food left for the cows, so... And if we're planning on getting more cows, we need a lot more... Uh, yeah, what's it? A lot more food coming in, so... What's stroll? And this is going to be for the manure factory we have added. Also, we've added Yoss's pancakes, so we get some Yoss's donuts and Yoss's pancakes as a bit of an extra income like we need it however if we're going to hit 10 million then that's what needs to be done so we've already got some products coming out so got some sunflower oil and we've got more oil here so sunflower and sunflower oil just been checking on all the production so Yes, we do have a bit of corn oil, a bit of soybeans, but obviously that needs to be really from the greenhouses set to store. Then we can put it in here manually, but it's just so much we're doing at the moment, so turn that off at the moment. Maybe let some of this build up and like the pig food and that will sell. At the farm factory, 
we'll get the wheat flour, oats, sorghum and corn flour going. We're going to get a little bit of flour and that will be set to distribution. And then one thing I need to do rather than tab it through the menu, at least our grass field is ready so that's one plus so we need to go to this green mill here. Sell that uh, beehive. And yeah, oh dang it, I forgot to turn this on. So yeah, we'll get flour. And yeah, it's going to run and stop, run and stop. It's going to cost us, yes, I know, but the amount of money we're making, that mitigates the cost. We're still getting like 20k an hour, so. Before we skip ahead of time, so I've got the manure section on the BGA here set up. So now we're going to get some straw manure, and this is like one of the best productions you can have because it's a 1 to 3 ratio. So for a million litres of straw, we'll get 3 million litres of manure. I have no idea how much it's going to take. 200,000, quarter of a mil, 300,000, 400,000, they went to million litres of manure from this. And that's already chugging away at this good sea. And I think for now, we'll put the rest of this into the farm, not the farm factory, the farm supply factory. Yeah. Uh, what we're going to do with the other farm supply production chain by the yard in that, we will sell that. However, it's got like 8,000 litres of cotton steel, so. so it's a bit much, you know what? Just because we've got things like strawberries being distributed in there. Heck it. Let's just sell that now, so. Oh, no. There we go. Set to demolish. And yet we get nothing back from like, all the products in there. Perhaps we're looking at easy 100 grand in product in there already. You know, like 25,000 litres of strawberries. And all sorts. So. And that's all gone in. Did not expect that. But again, we can also use this to get TMR. So with 600,000 uh, litres of straw, man, that holds a bit. So we've got straw silage going, and then we get silage, silage digestate. When we hop, uh, do the grass, so yeah, we'll get the grass. In, so we get a bit of digestate again from that, so... But yeah, so from the silage... Obviously we're getting season out for like the wheat and corn and all that coming in. But yeah, all we need is... Get the hay over... And we can make TM, um, TMR, so... What's that? 12,000 times 240,000? That's 12 million, 6 million. If I'm correct, that's like just shy of 3 million litres a month this could produce. So, maybe worth getting the grass in, throw that to hay, turn that on. So, yeah, get grass egg now. Nah. I'm thinking that would work, so in the next episode we will do that. But I think to round off, whilst all this transpires, so set the times five for now. So what I'm gonna do is what we said at the start of the episode is get rid of the weeds in our wheat fields. So what I'm gonna do is quick time lapse 
get this all done, and then I think we're gonna leave it for today. I think we're on the road to 10 million. And there we go, with the last bit of the fertilizing almost done. Yes, yeah, spend a lot more fertilizer than we needed to, because like, a lot of this is just spotty patches here and there. However, I'm all about the yieldage, and that matters a lot to us, so... Don't mind chucking a few couple dozen quid in there or so. But yeah, so we skipped to four, because I just want to see how much money user was making, so with everything going as it is at the moment, we're making about 15 grand per hour. So that is, what, 150, 300 grand. We're looking at 360 passively a month, so in the course of a year, that is just over 4 million so not too bad not too bad at all but obviously that's where things stand at the moment obviously if we can get things improved then by all means we'll do that get some more yieldage in 
but did spend 45 grand on a plot of land. So I may start looking up, moving up here a bit in the corner. The reason for that is we need more silage, more grass, more silage, more hay. Especially for my plants I have. Just have, you know, just, uh, oh, not destroy it, but something about having a thousand cows, a thousand sheep, and a, well, I'd say a thousand chickens where I got that, but five thousand chickens, whatever. Something about that has a nice little ring to it. I'm not sure what it is, but ah, we're wasting fertilizer. Because yeah, how much sheep have we got at the moment? Uh, what to have a look. Two fifty, so quadruple that. Cows two and a half times. Chickens sixteen hundred, but I want to get the pen that can hold two thousand. Each or the one that holds five thousand. Obviously, do you have to care for about hitting the animal spawn, like animal place spawn limit? I think it was it seven, and we're one away from that already. So I think it's seven, right? Is it seven or is it? I'm not sure. So yeah, I'm thinking of seven because of court farms and that at the moment, or court farm. But anywho, we are done. I am satisfied with that. Animals do need more feed. Cows we need to keep on shore for the cows. We can't just chuck all the straw into the production chain. The cows do need their straw. Worst case scenario, if we have to import some. Then you know what? That's fine by me, so. I think to round off the episode, let's have a little look where we stand with everything. Obviously, a lot of this is going to be red, I know. Actually, unless we just turn it all off for now and just let it build up, and then we can have a massive blowout, so. Short size, that's working very well. I've already got 117,000 years of silage. Turn those off. Yeah, just set build up. Canola, yep, that's in there. We'll leave that going. Donuts, they need more butter. And that's where we consumed all the milk ready. Oof, okay. That's one thing noted. So for now, we'll turn that off. Your factory is churning up really well. And that has a high consumption rate, so. Maple syrup and that, making plenty of pancakes, so I think tomorrow we will have some pancakes. Of course, in the next episode we will say May. I want to get grass fuel cut, and that's why in the time lapse you may have seen we emptied the last bit of size we had into the BGA. Just so that we can get the mower set up and all that, and then the case with the wind rower and the pickup. The reason why we're doing it this way is because we could attach the forge wagon to the mower, but we can't mow at 24 miles an hour. Even though I will scale back on the fast farming bit, mowing at 24 miles an hour ain't one of those we're going to be coming back on. And how's the yieldage in this field? Yeah, I think it's just rolling in that all motion. But, anyways, that is where we're going to leave it today. So next time we will get these bad boys going and just see how much silage we can get. That's the question. How much silage can we get? And our equipment's absolutely caked in mud. Really should wash these at some point, but I'll get around to it eventually at some point, but so yeah, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, 
Smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, see you farmer at Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.